Morning, all. All right, so uh, the only news item for today is that Maxime Lajoie settled uh, with the Canes for league minimum. Uh, he'll make 125000 in the AHL if they waive him and send him down. And that's what happened. So this week ended up being uh, exactly the kind of week that I had expected before we came to Las Vegas. I figured it was going to be a pretty quiet week from a news perspective. Uh, it was going to be relatively easy for me to get ahead on videos, do a lot of the evergreen content, so it doesn't matter when it goes live, and that uh, I would be able to uh, really relax here. So I, there's one video going live on this channel. It's a career video uh, that will go live this morning. Um, and then outside of that, that's all I had pre-recorded. So we get home, uh, it looks like it'll probably be about 6.30, 7 o'clock before we get home tonight. Uh, so there won't be a lot going on with the channel today. Uh, it'll be quiet, but look for, uh, starting tomorrow, uh, a lot to start getting posted. The, the interesting thing is, I, I think that with the, with the time off, and I mentioned this in the, uh, the, the, the vlog that Yvonne and I did when we got home last night, um, is I think that with taking time off from the channel, which I've never done, I've never done that. I've, I've never actually taken um, almost entirely a vacation while I'm on vacation. And it's almost always been about, okay, I'm going to do a bunch of hockey videos, I'm going to do a bunch of this, I'm going to do a bunch of that. And I keep myself very, very busy. Uh, this trip, I allowed myself not to think as much about hockey. And I, I think what that should do is it should really... Uh, refresh my, my my mind when it comes to approaching the hockey topics. Uh, I do intend to start doing season previews. I want to do them a little different this year. I have some ideas for how to do things a little bit different. Uh, so that I'm looking forward to and I think should be enjoyable. Uh, but August is usually a pretty quiet month news-wise. Now of course um, also as, as parents Yvonne and I had to plan this out so that this was at a time that was most convenient for us and for the entire family and so it worked out that way as well uh, but we're, we're looking forward to getting home uh, it's a good night's sleep in a hotel I mean it's a nice hotel room it's 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 great amenities and everything and yet you lay down and three hours later your brain wakes you up and goes yeah this isn't your bed dude so um, that's what's been going on and uh, outside of that though it's been absolutely fantastic um, I've appreciated to the channel's growth it's been pretty good this week uh, I, I also was the funny thing is the, the one video that I posted uh, last week that went live yesterday was the one about the uh, the hockey card uh, pulls that, that I got and I was really excited about that and I know hockey card videos don't perform particularly well uh, but yeah, I'm still excited about that. I'm excited to go through the rest of that box and, and see what else might be in there because yeah, some pretty exciting cards are in there. And uh, you know, and I, I actually am considering getting them appraised and all that fun. I've never done that with hockey cards. I've never actually uh, gotten them appraised and all that stuff and like a professional all that. But I, I think in this case, I probably should. Um, also, I'm, I'm disappointed Nazem Kadri didn't sign anywhere this week, to be honest, but I, I think a lot of teams that are looking at him are probably right up against the cap. Uh, there are some obvious teams that it seems like it would fit with, the Islanders being the one that have been tied to him in all likelihood, that it just hasn't hasn't been announced yet or whatever's holding everything back. Uh, Calgary's one that people have talked about. I think that for the Flames, I think that would make some sense as well, although they'd have to move some money out. They're one of those teams that have to move some money out. And yeah, so I've, I've greatly enjoyed uh, doing the occasional video for this channel, doing the daily vlogs on the Entertainment Guy as well, which is now past 21,000 subscribers, which is great. Um, it, it is nice to, to have that second channel for when I want to talk about something non-hockey. This, this is the hockey channel. This is where I'll talk about the Jets. It's where I'll talk about the Ducks. This is where I'll talk about everything. And then if I want to talk about something involving wrestling or something involving music or TV or movies or something like that, then that goes over on the Entertainment Guy channel, which at times during the regular season, I've, I've seen make as little as $30 in a month. So uh, the entertainment guy has earned his keep this past couple of months. Uh, this past week, he's earned his keep nicely. Uh, we'll see whether or not that continues. Of course, once we get into hockey season, uh, then then that becomes a very, very difficult task. But we are, we are not that far away from hockey season. Uh, we're about, what, seven weeks away from hockey season getting started. It doesn't feel like it, but we're there. Um, it's going to be 40 degrees here today, but at home it's going to be around 30. So even though 30 is hot for us, eh, it's going to feel pretty nice after 40 degrees that we've been we've been dealing with here. So um, get everything packed up. 
get to the airport, get gone, and and then I'll be on my way home. But thank you guys so much for all your support all the way through. I do, again, I apologize. All that there is is the Lajoie news. That's it. And while I like Lajoie, uh, his his NHL status is of course still in a state of flux. He plays a number of games in the NHL, um, and then very often will end up playing in the AHL. But maybe this is the year that 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 changes. Maybe he ends up getting a chance at a at a regular spot and earns it. We'll see. But yeah, I'm I'm excited to get started on season previews. I also got the the email from uh, or no, I saw on Twitter today from from Hockey News that they're sending out the. Um, the fantasy guide this week. So the fantasy guide coming out means we can talk about who may very well have a big breakthrough season from a, a fantasy perspective, who might be due for some sort of a, um, a regression. Today, of course, is the 35th birthday for Sidney Crosby. Usually at age 35, players, you'll see that, that dramatic drop-off start to really take place. Sidney Crosby has defied the aging process for a very long time. Can he continue to do that? Uh, and if he can't, then what happens with Pittsburgh? And so these are questions that I do think about regularly. So while, yes, I've been here and I've been, uh, you know, doing the, the, the Vegas thing as well as I can, um, I, I still do think about those things where I'll see and I'll go, oh, he's turning 35. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens with this production, right? Uh, now, the thing with Crosby is uh, in, in similar fashion to, to Bergeron, it's not all about production with him. Uh, at this point, his career, he's a very good all-around player. So if his production drops off, does he get more consideration for perhaps a Selkie trophy? So there's all that consideration in there as well, and it's one of those many things. But yeah, so thank you guys again so much. It has been great being here. It has been great. Um, it's still providing content for all you fine people and making sure I had enough extra content made last week. Uh, that I, I'm able to provide you guys with with the normal, and I, I may there's nothing different about what's been posted this week as opposed to what was posted last week. Uh, there's been this great debate uh, about whether or not he shouldn't have shouldn't have shouldn't have recorded the the pre-recorded these. Why? Um, I've been I, I've been pre-recording uh, previews for for ages where I'm I'm up late at night. I'm like, well, I'll just do the preview now and I'll have it go live on the channel in the morning. It's the exact same thing. Um, I've, I've had it before where I, I make three videos over a period of say two hours and I'd be like, well, this third video, I, I, if it goes live now, it's going to bury that second video because I know how this works. So I, I'll space them out. I'll make it so that they don't all post at the same time. It was something I learned, I, I want to say like three years ago where I would, I would post maybe like four videos over two hours and I'd be like, oh, that video got buried because the video that came out. 15, 20 minutes later was much more popular, so you don't get the hits on that second video. A lot of things you learn as a YouTuber. Uh, I know people talk about the content I post. I do not make as many videos as I used to. There, there used to be a lot more videos I made, and uh, my average used to be five videos. My average is now three to four, uh, and if, if one video was doing really, really well, I might drop another video I was planning on doing that day where I'm like, okay, well, I've got that board made up. That can go to tomorrow. This video is doing really, really well. Again, it's if another video posts to the channel, it's going to take away from, from the view count on that other video. So I do my best on that. So I'm learning. There's actual learning that takes place. Uh, I've learned to record before I go on holidays. And I've learned to make sure that I, I space things out and, and, and do things so that each video has the maximum return uh, on, on the time that I put into it. So thank you guys so much for being with me for that journey. Um, thank you to the Vidara for, for very nice accommodations. Uh, thank you to uh, Vegas Hot Air Balloon Rides for offering us to, you know, to have that experience. We did not get around to having that this week, but they were very... Uh, very decent about it, uh, very nice about it, and uh, very flexible as well. So uh, can't say enough good things about them or about any of our, exp any of our experiences here. Uh, we went to O last night, which again, we did the review for on the uh, the Entertainment Guy channel, which was great. Um, we, we've seen a lot of shows, we've done a lot of things. And again, everything that we've done, we've done reviews for on the other channel. I intend to as well. Uh, put together a video because this is our fourth trip to Las Vegas. We've seen a lot of shows. So I feel like we're in a position now where I can collect all the shows that I've seen, throw them probably on a whiteboard and discuss each show that we've seen and, and which ones are, you know, you can't miss. And I might also get into which ones are more 
uh, on the cheaper side of things ticket wise and which ones end up being kind of pricey because again when you're in Las Vegas it's not just about your time it's about your budget as well and we've stuck to budgets quite quite well while we've been here uh, the first time we were here the only thing we saw was Blue Man Group, and that was the last night, and that was just because we realized we hadn't seen a show. We hadn't really done anything as a couple that first trip to Vegas, and this time around, uh, it was almost exclusively just, you know, the two of us going and doing stuff. So it was nice. It was a nice vacation, my first vacation in three years. And again, I appreciate uh, subscribers understanding, hey, the guy needs a little bit of a break. The guy needs, you know, and, and I think mentally it's made a huge difference, but I miss the cats. Uh, I miss my rabbits. I, I miss uh, being home and, and, and I, I guess the kids, right? We have three, right? There's Mortimer, um, I want to say Garnet, and Amber, right? Okay, well, anyways, I miss them too. Um, I'm sure I, sh I should recognize them when we get home. But the kitties and the bunnies, I tell ya, I've, I've been talking the last couple of days about how much uh, I do miss I do miss everybody and everything at home. Uh, that's the nice thing about vacation too, is once you get home, it's, it's kind of nice to be home. So I'm looking forward to that, and uh, thank you guys so much for being patient with no cat trees, the pre-recorded videos, um, and cause again, I don't have a cat tree here cause I'm not bringing a cat. They won't fit, they would fit in the check bag, but they really discourage putting an animal in the check baggage. So, um, and so I, I, I can't do it. But anyways, there you go. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through, you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I'll talk to you again soon.